Well, I've cleared away the soap maker now. The soap cutter, it's gone. And get this out of the way. And I've stacked up all my soap. And there it is. I've got to get it out on these racks. You know? All I did with this soap, after I took it out of the cutter, is I just picked up each piece and went around the edges with a cloth to smooth them off so they're not sharp. You don't want to get cut and you're using a new bar of soap. But there they are, don't they look great? That soap cutter just works like a charm. I've been using, I built this soap cutter probably eight years ago and I've been using it steady. And uh, it never, it's never let me down. Best thing I ever built. So there you have it. It's not a pretty display, but there it is. Sage soap with sage essential oil. It's got green clay and uh, it's made with olive oil, coconut oil, castor oil. What else should I put in it? Sunflower oil. That natural vitamin A and E in it. So this smells delicious. And here they are on the rack. 36 of the bar. Bye-bye.